Hey what's up guys it's your boy Mike Tech back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to import STL files into FreeCAD so that we can modify them and use those files to create G code so that we can put it inside your CNC machine and make whatever you want to make with it. So first thing you got to do is after you load up FreeCAD and you got your start page with all your stuff on it you want to go ahead and click on new and click on that it's going to open up another page like this and you want to go ahead and import your STL file into this page now normally if you do that and you go straight to path and you click on create a path job object and this box come up where it says create job you will notice that your your STL object or your STL uh, model isn't visible inside this little box right here where it says model so you can't really click on it if you can't click on it there you can't create the G code so the way to solve that problem will be to go back to where it says part and you need to convert this STL model that you imported into FreeCAD into something that FreeCAD can actually use to create the G code with so first thing you gotta do is go ahead and highlight your your model over here on the side and uh, you want to go up to the top where it says um, part create a shape from mesh so click that you want to make sure this number is as low as possible um, that number is going to tell you that number is going to be how detailed the, the mesh is going to be so the lower the number the more detail you have so you want to make sure it's a 0 0.01 it's not going to get any lower than that so just make sure it's set to that press OK is going to go ahead and create the mesh now if you look real closely you can see there's a whole bunch of lines in here and stuff like that that wasn't there before so I'm going to show you how to get rid of that later on but first thing you want to do is highlight the the mesh that you just made and then you want to go back to part and you want to convert that mesh to a solid so now that you converted it to a solid you can go ahead and click on toggle visibility for the other two and the only one you want to keep is the one that says solid now now that you have that solid what you want to go ahead and do and if you look really closely you can see all the little lines and stuff like that in there it's gonna make it really really hard to like click on a face if you want to just cut one face or something like that it's gonna make it really difficult with all those lines in there so the way to get rid of those lines is to go back again where it says part make sure your your model is selected and it's highlighted but go back to where it says part come all the way down to where it says refine shape click on that and it's gonna get rid of all those lines so now you can click and you can highlight a whole entire face without having those lines in the way so that makes it a little bit more easier to to take this and turn it into like G code or whatever so now if you go to path and path loads loads up and you go here you will see that your models are now visible in path and now you can click on the one you want now you can get rid of the other ones that you had there previously the only one you want to keep is the finished one which is going to be the last one it's going to have solid and it's going to have zero zero one keep that one the rest of them delete do whatever you want with it doesn't matter but this is the one you want to actually work with the finished one press next and now you can go in and you can do whatever you want you can create your G code with this um, take the G code put it inside your CAC machine and start cutting and that's basically it so now you know how to import an STL file and generate the G code for your CNC machine with that STL file in FreeCAD um, now if you want to you can like comment and subscribe to see more videos just like this you can also head over to my website it's MikeTech41.com. I'm also going to have that link down at the bottom. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, on the website, there is merch that you can also pick up, like USB cables, flash drives, all that stuff. All the useful stuff that any guy to technology would actually want. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the stuff I would want to mention. So like, comment, subscribe, make sure to check me out on all social platforms. And yeah, that's it. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Peace out.